going on, Sagittarians? Thank you so much for finding me once again. Um, if you have purchased a reading or donated to my page, I truly appreciate you. Thank you if you have liked, shared, or subscribed as well. I appreciate that. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here with new content. Um, if this reading resonates with you, please hit the like button. It helps my page grow. Uh, this energy can be masculine or feminine. Just put it on whatever side you need to. Um, we're going to see who's tugging on your energy right now, uh, uh, Sagittarius, okay? I choose to be celibate until you come back to me. Now, this is my deck of cards, and when I made this, this is, this is uh, a card that says, you know, I'm out here. You know, I'm doing my numbers out here in the street. I'm still having sex with people. I'm still being intimate and, you know, hanging out, etc. But uh, I'm really keeping it light. I'm not really attaching my emotions to it. And my emotions are with you. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be celibate emotionally until I until you come back to me or until I can get back at you. That type of energy. So this is a person that is out here doing what they feel like they need to do right now uh, away from you. Um, this is someone that may have made you feel like they were not into you at all, um, Sagittarius. Is, like you were just a friend to them, like maybe they friend zoned you. I'm feeling the energy of maybe someone that you were into um, and you felt like you were just waiting for things to elevate or waiting for this person uh, to take you seriously. Uh, and I feel like no matter what happened, you seem to be pushed to the side or benched with this person. Um, and I feel like, yeah, yeah, there is an energetic connection here. There is a soul connection here, right? So they know that they don't have that type of connection with other people out there in the street, but they choose to be out there in the street and they don't choose to be with you, Sagittarius. This is the energy that's coming through right now, okay? Um, I would give anything to taste you right now. This is a person um, that liked intimate times with you. This is a person that liked kisses as well, right? So I feel like you guys had a good connection. I feel like um, those affectionate times were real for this person. And now they look back upon them because they're no, no longer around you. Um, you are the person that I have been waiting for all my life. Now, this is because... This person, as as all of us do, have been calling in like soulmates into their life, right? I want true love. I want to find, you know, something that's passionate, something that gives me, um, you know, all the check marks is to my box, right? I want someone that is beautiful or handsome or they got money or they're able to, you know, run businesses. You know, this person had their check boxes, right? Or whatever you want to call them, like the boxes that they wanted to check uh, for their person. But when they came to you, they felt like you were slacking in some of those areas and they felt like you were not, you know, um, the baddie or the hot boy that they really wanted. And they wanted to go out here and find that person. Although they never expressed that to you. And when you guys were together, I feel like the energy was one to where they made you feel like the most beautiful or most handsome person in the world. Right? So they never expressed to you, um, how they truly felt, but they went out and really benched you often, okay, because they were interested in other people and other ener energies. Um, now, when they look at you, okay, they can feel more, you know, uh, of the soul tie towards you, right? And I feel like absence from being in your life, then they're not around you. I feel like that absence is what makes things a little stronger because then they're able to tune into that soul energy, that they were neglecting before, or they were saying, you know, that's not important, right? You know, somebody got to be a hot girl, be be a hot boy. They got to show up a certain way. You know, my friends got to look like, you know, be, look at them and, and approve or my relatives or what have you. And I feel like somebody here just didn't like fit whatever visual this person may have had, but you, you fit it when it was just the two of you, but when it came to the rest of the world, this person felt like they needed to still be out there checking for other energies. Okay. Um, so let's continue. 
Yep, you're going to get a message from this person. Or you may have gotten a message from this person. Because this is someone, okay, that, that thinks about you all the time. And this person is trying to figure out when to send this message. I'm not sure that they have already. But if they if they have, or, um, it's been within the last six months uh, to one year. Or it will be six months to one year from now, okay? Um, I feel like they're going to be offering something to you because they feel like they want to come back towards you. And when I say they want to come back towards you, what it is is they're going to be offering you that same energy that they had for you before, okay? Because I don't see that this person has elevated in any way. What I feel like they miss you. They feel like your energy is not there. They want to connect again on that soul level, that intensity that they had with you, right? Thank you, spirit. So you'll be in something stagnant again, okay? This person is noticing as well that when they were with you, things were moving and shaking in their life and they may have hit a block. They don't realize that you were someone that was a good luck charm for them. You were someone that was rooting for them and praying for them and motivating them. And they don't have that now, or they haven't had uh, someone that invested the type of love and care that you did, right? So their life is a little stagnant. And this is what will happen if you go back towards that person, because all they have to offer is sex. Intimacy. This is like a friend with benefits only. And this is how they want to see you, right? But they want you in best friend mode because, yeah, not only that, you're elevated past just friends with benefits, Sagittarius, because, you know, me and you, you know, we may hang out, we may do this or that, right? We're not con committed in any way, but you're a little bit more to me than just a friend with a benefit. And I feel like Sagittarians is like, look, fuck out of here that's not what I want, right? At one point in time, this person may have felt like you were being clingy, okay, to them, Sagittarius, and this is the energy that's coming through, so I do apologize, but not letting go, or you felt like um, you didn't want to let them go, but now this is their energy towards you. See how it has flipped, right? And now them trying to hold on to you is going to really piss you off because, how did we get here when I was giving you love and attention and you weren't giving me nothing, but now all of a sudden I'm supposed to drop everything I'm doing or, or, or pay more attention to you when you want me to, right? That's going to piss somebody off here, Saggy, right? You guys are single and free, nine of pentacles energy, Virgo energy, very financially stable. You, you, um, for some of you, please forgive me, but you're taking care of yourself sexually if you don't have a person in your life for that right now because you're honing in on your energy and you're protecting it, right? I can take care of myself in all ways and that's what you've been doing because you just haven't been giving your energy out all willy-nilly, okay? With that Nine of Pentacles energy, like I said, that's Virgo. You guys are mature, you're content, right? For some of you, you're doing what you need to do for yourself, putting yourself first, etc. Someone could have had a baby around you. You're, you're enjoying that baby. For some of you, um, you could have recently had a baby. If you're a woman or a man, you could have found out that someone is pregnant for you, okay? But I feel like someone here, the energy that I'm com that's coming through is one that is not in a relationship at this time. Um, and I feel like uh, this was the person that you wanted to have that type of union with. We have Page of Cups. Yep, baby. Someone may have had a baby here, okay? Or a baby could be on the way. Um, Page of Cups energy, you know, the summertime, maybe. Someone could have had a child in the summertime or someone could be due in the summertime, right? Um, this is you still healing from whatever this emotion was that you went through with this person, right? You still could be a little bit sensitive, when it comes to this person as well, um, some of you are getting a lot of messages from spirit, right? Because of you, you felt like you were being really naive when it came to this person. So you're trying to really hone it in and pay attention. Uh, for some of you, you're going to find out from this person that they really um, see you as someone that they, um, that they want to have more with. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like it's a little bit less than... Because Page of Cups for me is one to where they're saying, hey, 
I want to be engaged to you. Or I want to be loyal to you. I want to be attached to you. But this person is not ready for attachment yet. They're still up in the air with what they do want, right? So they're kind of stuck um, with what it is that they do want for you, but they do know that they miss you and your energy, okay? Um, you guys are moving towards Ten of Cups energy, okay? They're, they they don't know if they can give you Ten of Cups energy, even though their mouth may say it, their actions may do something else, but you're focused on this. Your back is turned to this person um, because you're focused on the prize that you feel like you need to have. And with your back turned, you know, you're still in a sense of mending your heart. Like I said, you're still sensitive when it comes to this person. So you're, you're recuperating. You're doing what you need to do to, to totally heal yourself so that you can get ready for this full uh, commitment of love and, and, and joy that will be coming to you from the universe, right? The emotional security, you know, someone could be dealing with a Pisces, right? Someone's going to come in and they're going to want to be married to you. They're going to want to have you in their life and they're going to want to share you with their relatives, uh, with their friends, etc. They're not going to have you in the dark and have you in just a friends with benefits type of situation because they're going to see you as the prize of, that you are, Saggies. Okay, so this is what's coming through. I send you guys nothing but the utmost love and light. As always, you guys take care.